today guys we're going to be talking about the halloween update coming out on october 25th in grand rp i received a little bit of information about it so i wanted to share it with you guys and of course if you haven't seen the little teaser trailer they made it's on the official grand rp youtube channel but anyways i hope you guys go on to enjoy the video and if you haven't started playing on the server already and want to be sure to click the link down below in the description click on start playing select which server you want to play on register an account and download the launcher and if you want to check out the mobile version of the game i'll leave a link down below for that as well it's literally grand rp on the go and if you use code frolics when you sign up you will get a free rare accessory once you reach level three anyways i hope you enjoy and let's jump into things we'll kick things off with some of the screenshots that they showed me the very first one is some of the prizes you're able to win of course there's going to be a lot more prizes this is just a screenshot of one of the pages or in the middle of the entire page either way looks like some decent stuff hopefully there are some cars as well and hopefully they don't cost an absolute fortune the rest of the screenshots are just pictures of what the city looks like. So you can see Legion Square looks completely different. And then we also have the normal church cemetery thing going on. But Legion Square is pretty much where it's at. There is tons and tons of props. There's even a plane stuck in one of the buildings, which I thought was pretty cool. But they did a lot of work on Legion Square, as they normally do with many different events in the city. But this one is definitely taking it to a whole nother level. I don't even know what that thing is that collapsed in the middle of Legion Square, but it looks pretty damn cool. I was also told five things about this update. The very first one, Merging of Souls, which we've obviously seen before. This time you have a Mafia role, and if you trick the opposite role and merge, you get all of the candy for yourself. But apparently if you merge at some sort of base with the same role, which is obviously not Mafia, you'll both get candy. And I'm assuming if two Mafia people decide to merge together, neither of them will get any candy. Like I said, we've seen something like that before. This next one is a little bit different from what we saw last time. Normally it's a giant pumpkin that spawns, but this time there's going to be just searching for pumpkins on the map. They will just randomly appear around the state and you must find one and take it to your base. If you complete it, you get candy. So there will be some sort of base. I'm not 100% sure if they mean the cemetery or maybe it's your house or maybe it's a family house or something like that. Not 100% sure, but so far base has come up two times and I have no idea what that entails. Obviously the main thing that everybody wants and thank God they did it, you can exchange resources for candy. I know in one of the last updates you weren't able to do that and you could only get a small amount of stars and it was really hard to get any of the prizes but for the halloween event you're able to exchange resources so obviously prices of resources are going to go up a little bit so make sure you stockpile them as soon as you possibly can hopefully some of you have been doing it already and you might even be able to sell those resources to make some money if you don't want any of the prizes from the event themselves and you know what it works out pretty damn well i've done it many times before and made a whole lot of money the next thing is a UFO attack. It will appear in a random spot in the state of San Andreas, and you need to be the first person to destroy the UFO. Now, here's what I don't know about this. Let's say it spawns, and it has, like, 10,000 health or something like that. Obviously, a bunch of people are going to pull up and start shooting it like crazy, but maybe it only takes one bullet, and whoever shoots it first gets all the candy, or whoever shoots the last bullet that deals the last 5 or 10 damage will end up getting all of the candy. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work. I have a feeling it'll be the first person to shoot it, it will end up just destroying it, and then that person will get the candy. Either way, seems kind of cool, and in my opinion, it's a little bit better than that pumpkin event, because most of the time, everybody will just be standing underneath that pumpkin, punching each other, some people would even kill each other, and it was just really, really hard to get your hands on that pumpkin and get that 100,000 candy. Either way, seems like a pretty decent event. Now the last thing they said might give us a little bit of information about this base thing. So they went on to say, the opposing team curse event. Once you have 1000 activity points in your faction, you can vote a punishment for the opposing role. So I believe this is gonna be when you do that trucking thing and everything and you start to get a bunch of family points and everything like that. Once you have 1000, you can then vote some sort of punishment on a family that you're not allied with. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to be. So when they do say base, I'm hoping that also means your family house. So whenever you find a certain item like a pumpkin or something, you got to bring it back to your family house. It could be completely different than this. I'm not 100% sure. This is just the information they gave me. But either way, if you're able to put a curse on another family, that's kind of insane. And I have a feeling what was happening in that teaser trailer, if you guys haven't seen it already, there was a bunch of zombies and demon looking things running around everywhere. So I'm assuming once you hit that 1000 point mark, you can then curse another family or I guess another faction with these demons and zombies and they're going to be chasing them down or doing something like that. I think that sounds pretty cool, but we'll have to see when the event actually starts. 
That is all the information that I have received so far about this update. If I do get any more info, I will drop it down below in the comment section. But if you want to start prepping for this update, depending on what you're planning to do, if you want to get a bunch of prizes from the new event shop, obviously go and stockpile of resources right now so you can get them when they're cheaper. Or if you want to make money, go and get those resources now while they're still cheap and then sell them the day the event comes out. Because every single day the event is out, the prices will start gradually going back down. So make sure if you're planning to make some money off selling resources for the event, sell them right away. Because people will buy them if they want those items quick and fast instead of going around trying to find all of them. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys went on to enjoy. Let me know what you think of this Halloween event. And of course, a lot more stuff is going to be coming out as well. Maybe trick-or-treating will come back too. I'm not 100% sure, but that was definitely one of the things I really enjoyed doing back in the day. Just running around Vinewood Hills, collecting candy from each house. But it sounds like a pretty cool update. So like I said, comment down below what you think. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.